All right. Rotimi said, if anyone's familiar with him, he's the guy who was like on one of the TV shows. He wasn't the main star. He was like a supporting actor, but he's from Nigeria. And he was on a radio station talking about how Nigeria has all this fresh, clean air and uh, over here in America, when you breathe, it's like you're breathing in problems. And then he had the nerve to say all the swag from Nigeria has been jacked oh, from, no, from, from us over here. First of all, bro, you're wrong. All right. No one is jacking Nigerian swag. What is Nigerian swag, fella? Because if you're saying this right here, look at look, look on the screen, y'all. 50 latest Nigerian fashion for men. I'm just going into the men part, right? Fellas, my FBA family, my brothers over here, who's over here dressing like this shit? Now, this is not to slight any of the brothers over there in Nigeria. That's y'all thing. This looks good on y'all, but not over here on us. We don't rock this, so we ain't jacking that. We ain't stealing that. You have to know to say that we, we stealing the swag from Nigeria, so look at this. Uh, do you see any FBA brothers walking around here with this shit on? Rotimi? Come on, fam. <laughs> Kaftan styles are among the most popular they are industrial made, colorful cotton cloths with a back teak expired. In fact, I don't know what that is. Fam, Rotimi, you saying that this was this is we're still in this? <laughs> Yo, you just you said the the swag from Nigeria has been stolen from us. I mean, stolen from y'all by us over here. So tell me who's jacking Nigerian swag. Fam, check this out. We don't... Am Diddy. <laughs> What's the other part? I am Diddy? Shit, I don't know. But what I'm saying is to you, uh, Rot Rotini. Rotini. Rotimid. Come on, nobody is jacking Nigerian swag, fam. I I know a lot of people may be into you, but I'm not into you. Your music is whack. It sucks. I'm just going to keep it 100. I'm not going to play this. Well, he's okay with me. No, fam, I don't like your music. All right? And I'm going to tell you something, fam. No one's over here rocking this. <laughs> no one's over here rocking this shit. No one is over here jacking that. No one is. <laughs> Look at our brother, man, over there. And I, this, again, there's no slight against the Nigerian brothers who are down and who are on code. But, bro, you a coon. Rotimi, you a coon. You a goofy. Like we say in Chicago, get your goofy ass out of here. Come on, fam. Does any Is anyone over here... In Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan, Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Liberty City, Atlanta, L.A. I mean, who's rocking this shit in the streets? <laughs> he said, the swag has been stolen. Hold on, fam. Let me tell you. Look at this, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see this. All right. Rotimi just got a gold plaque for a single he released in 2019. And he didn't get it by himself. He had Wale on there. All right. This song, Love Rhythm, I think this is the song Wale. Rotimi's 2019 single, Love Rhythm, has been certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America, exceeding 500. So that means nobody over here jacking that shit. Nobody's bumping that, man. I don't hear that shit on the radio. I don't. It's not in the, in the video timeline on YouTube. It's not popping, fam. No one's buying your music over here. All right. Take your ass back to where you're from in Nigeria and go take that over there. 
Because we don't need you over here with all that damn disrespect. Since you saying that we jacking the swag, let me see. I got something else for y'all. Check out this. This is as of recent. I just copied and pasted this, but this is from a, a Nigerian sister who wrote an article about the top 10 Nigerian slang. And this actually, this article is recent. This is August 2022, just last month. Look at the 10 top slang words <laughs> in Nigeria. And then the thing said, only a Nigerian can understand. Okay. So, uh, Rotimi, who's over here saying uh, Ehan? How do you say this word? Ehan or Ehan. This exclamation has different interpretations depending on the context in which it was used. It could mean I got it. And so, yes, okay. It's all that. Okay. And so, okay, okay, I get it. But but look at these words. Jara. Osha Papa, Ajay Buta, Buti, Butia, I don't know. Lipa or Orobo. That Lipa babe is bad. Oh my goodness, man. Is a noun that prefers to a sexy, slim woman. Oh my God. Over here, we just say she's a dime. Look at Shorty. She flies hell. What y'all what y'all say over there? Look at this <laughs> Leap of woman. She has flies all over. I mean, I mean she's fly as hell. <laughs> I'm just making fun, man. But Rotima, you very disrespectful, fam. You said the Nigerian jack is being swag is being jacked by us over here. Oh my God! Or or in the world, I, I'm 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 pretty sure that no one in the world is saying these goddamn Nigerian slang words that only a Nigerian can understand. No one is over here saying oversabi. This is a noun referring to someone who is a busybody or mocking someone who ever overperforms. His or her intelligence, yada, yada, yada. I did not ask you over, Sabi. They put that in a sentence. Well, Timmy, you just had a single that went gold that you released three years ago. It wasn't on your own. You had to have one of our FBA. No, wait a minute. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think. I got to find out. I think Wale may not be FBA. I'm going to look into that. But anyways, you didn't make that single hot on your own. All right, so you could take your fucking gold plaque and these goddamn street slangs and them and and this uh these outfits uh, that I don't even see you wearing over here in America. Then you on this, then you disrespectful to Atlanta by doing that promo for them. For um, I know they hired you. You didn't do that on your own. But at the same time, you should be like, no, I'm not from Atlanta. No, I I, I can't do that. But no, you you tethering over here. Onto our culture and sucking up every opportunity that comes your way. That's why your shit. Come on, fam. The Migos and them is dropping singles that's going gold in the first damn week. Drake is and he's not connect. He's not uh, FBA, but we love him. All right, dropping singles is going gold in a day sometimes, man. You a buster. You a full-fledged Nigerian cone buster, dude. We don't rock with you. That's the reason why it took three years for you to go gold, not platinum. Go and I think that song was topped off. So I don't think nobody else going to buy that shit. If that motherfucker go gold, it's probably going to go gold in the next... I mean, if it goes platinum, it'll be 2032, another 10 years from now. You disrespectful, fam. Nobody's rocking this damn gear. Nobody's jacking this swag over here. All right. Nobody's saying your slang words. And obviously, nobody over here is buying your music, fam. You are truly a buster. 